Welcome back to another episode of Weekly Spark. Um, this is going to be a relatively simple page, but it's an idea that I've had in my head for, oh gosh, for months, um, maybe even longer. It's inspired by a quote from Glennon Doyle in her book, Untamed. If you're familiar with the book, then you probably already get it because you see these animal pictures that I have gathered on my page. Um, it's too long for me to read. I think uh, this is a, a video. You don't want to listen to me read. But let me just read an excerpt and kind of sum up. This is from the prologue of the book, and it's called Cheetah. So Glennon and her family are at the zoo. There's a cheetah named Tabitha who's been zoo-raised and is best friends with a lab, and she's trained to chase a stuffed animal behind a jeep, and as a reward, she gets a steak. And, and gee, isn't that wonderful? Look at how great this life is for this cheetah, Tabitha, at the zoo. I watched Tabitha gnawing that steak in the zoo dirt and thought, Day after day, this wild animal chases dirty pink bunnies down the well-worn, narrow path they've cleared for her, never looking left or right, never catching that damn bunny, settling instead for a store-bought steak and the distracted approval of sweaty strangers. Obeying the zookeeper's every command, just like Minnie the Lab, she's been trained to believe she is, unaware that if she remembered her wildness just for a moment, she could tear those zookeepers to shreds. So, you know, spectators ask, isn't Tabitha sad that she's in captivity? No, she was born and bred here. She doesn't miss the wild. And Glennon's daughter notices that when Tabitha's let loose into her larger enclosure, she paces her territory and sits on top of the hill and her nostrils flare and she's, she's in her element. She's not the trained performer on the stage again. Um, and her daughter says, Mommy... She turned wild again. So Glennon muses on what Tabitha would say if she could speak. She'd say, something's off about my life. I feel restless and frustrated. I have this hunch that everything was supposed to be more beautiful than it is. I imagine fenceless, wide-open savannas. I want to run and hunt and kill. I want to sleep under an ink-black, silent sky filled with stars. It's all so real, I can taste it. I should be grateful. I have a good enough life here. It's crazy to long for what doesn't even exist. I'd say, Tabitha, you're not crazy. You're a goddamn cheetah. And although that, that you know, makes you chuckle, at the end, I think the statement, the concept that it's Evoking for me is something about breaking free of boundaries that have been imposed on you, uh, making your own decisions, honoring your true nature, and if that means allowing some of your inner wildness out, then let that out. So in honor of that, I'm going to do a goddamn cheetah page. And Yes, I know, you're seeing this and you're saying that's a leopard. But it's such an amazing picture with this direct gaze and this implied forward movement that it was just too perfect. I had some cheetahs that, you know, tear streak and all, that I was going to do as Xerox transfers. And I may do another page. But this one was just too perfect. And I want to do this one as is. So this leopard will be my stand in for the cheetah. I think the um, message is still the same. For, um, while I work on this page, I'm going to go ahead and turn this sideways so you can see the whole spread. I'm going to do all different greens, all different materials, all different patterns. Um, not realistic space, but just greens. Just the jungle, the wildness, the trueness of nature.
So that's all for today, people. Um, sometimes I do like to work with inspirations from text. And so, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is inspired by uh, the, one of the first chapters in Glennon Doyle's book, Untamed. So um, just remember, whether it's leopard or cheetah, remember your wildness. As always, do all the YouTube things, like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell, um, and I hope to see you here again next week for the next episode of Weekly Spark. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good week.